everyone, what's up? It's your girl Nancy. Um, welcome to my channel if this is your first time here and welcome back to all you guys who have subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed, I'm gonna put my information down below and make sure you click that like button and leave a comment. Today I'm actually gonna work on my GT500. It's time for an oil change and um, most of the time I usually do them since my mechanic decided to move to the other side of town. So ever since that, I just do it myself. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. I have everything that I need down here. So let me show you guys real quick. Okay, so jack stands, low profile jack, my filter, my filter wrench, my um, oil, which I'm gonna need six and a half quarts of it and the rest is in there in that box. Tools, you know, safety first, so the blocks and my oil drain pan. And I think I have a, I have a, um, I don't know where I left it, but okay, yeah. So a Ziploc bag to put over the filter just because um, I found that it helps a lot with the draining. And you know, one of the things that you wanna avoid is having all that oil um, just kind of drip down your hand when you're removing that filter. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, open my hood and jack up the car and all that, but let's go. Okay, first things first, safety. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in the back, that way my car doesn't roll. Obviously make sure your car has the e-brake on, which mine already does. And voila. So now we're gonna get the car up that way I can get underneath and start working on it. So I have my oil filter here and um, I'm gonna actually put it inside the Ziploc bag just because um, I wanna avoid too much oil drainage when it's coming down and you know, just slide, dropping everywhere, getting everywhere, so it's a little bit cleaner. And then um, the rubber uh, portion of the filter, you gotta double check that the old one comes off because, <laughs> you know, if you don't do that and you double, you know, you have two, um, two of these on there, then as soon as you turn your car on, you can kiss your oil goodbye, so, don't learn the hard way, make sure that it comes off and um, I promise you like, you'll make probably the mistake once and then never again, but it's a really, really sucky mistake to make. Uh, so just a heads up. But anyways, um, now that the car is up, I'm gonna go ahead and get underneath and start getting this going. So just bear with me, I'm gonna get settled uh, down here and then we should be done shortly. First thing I need to do is take this bolt out. So I'm gonna grab my socket. First, see what size it is. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to drain the oil. I have my pan here, my oil pan. This bolt always gives me foot. This bolt always gives me problems. It's really tight. Um, See if I can do it. <laughs> huh? I know. I have to remove it pretty quickly too. One eternity later. Come on. God damn it. All right, there. And that is why you wear gloves, people. And then um, get the, the oil filter right here, right after. All right, so now for the hard part. Wow, that 
surprisingly that wasn't too I move my drain that way. Let me see if no, I need more. So we're going to remove this filter and I use a Ziploc bag so I can catch some of the oil that's going to drip. Just found it easiest to do it this way. Let's move the oil pan. Use the frames. So I guess next time I'll just use a, I didn't have bigger Ziploc bags, but normally that should help. All right, and I don't see the rubber portion of the filter stuck on here, so we should be good. I can't really see, it's on, okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna close it up. And I'm gonna hand tighten it. Okay. All right, so get this glove back on and let's uh, lubricate the filter a bit here. Put the oil filter back in, hand tighten it. You know what? Cool. So that's done. As much as I want to keep my hands clean, I just can't work with gloves. You know, it's just, I'd rather just do it without gloves. how to change the oil and now I'm just gonna basically um, take the jacks out and put in the oil in the car so let's get this done first Just because these bolts 
are really annoying sometimes, especially the one where I have to drain the oil from. You need a little bit of help there, but yeah, um, I kind of wish I would have done this a little bit sooner. Because, oh, <laughs> RIP. Um, just because last weekend we went to California, so it would have been cool to take my car, but because I didn't have the oil and all that, I wasn't able to take her. So, um, yeah, but now it's good to go, and we're only going to do half of this one. So with my car, um, because it's 550, you know, it's they don't sell my oil like at an AutoZone or O'Reilly's. I had to go to Ford to pick it up, um, and I went to Ford just because I didn't want to wait for it to get shipped to me. So, oh shit. That's what happens when I'm talking and working at the same time. I need a light. Oh, I see it. Got it. Yeah. Let me get my little tiny hand in there. Cool. So don't don't do what I just did, guys. That's just me being distracted. But I'm pretty much all done here. Um, the last thing that I usually do is I dump all my old oil into back into these. And then I just, you know, drop them off at Amazon so they can dispose of them accordingly because I really don't know how. So, yeah, I'll be um, doing that. Cap is back on. Oil is in there. Um, I'm going to turn it on real quick so the oil can uh, start moving for a bit and then I'm going to check it. So, uh, I just need my keys. BRB, guys. So now I'm going to check the oil to see if it falls within um, the areas where the oil is supposed to be at. Now every car is going to be different, so just check where yours is supposed to fall under. Oh, this go. Yeah, I have a... I currently have a leak here somewhere and I'm waiting for the part to get in. I ordered this part here, which I'm gonna have to replace this coming week. It's leaking cool coolant, so there's that. And we are good. I don't know if you guys can see, but oil levels where it needs to be. And that's a wrap. So, um, I mean, it, it usually takes me about an hour, roughly, to do my entire oil change. Um, I already told you guys that I bought my oil from straight from Ford. It's the one that my manual recommends. I have used different ones in the past, but I like to stick with what's on the manual just because it's you know meant for the car, better performance, whatever the case is. But um, 
my filter and oil was from there, from Ford. And now, um, as I mentioned earlier, you want to dispose of the oil. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do at this point. And you know, I'm not gonna record that, but uh, once it's in the back in the oil bins, the empty ones, I'll take it to AutoZone, they'll take care of it for me. Now, um, I'm all done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe. Um, I will be, you know, posting more videos of me working on my GT500. Since it's stock and it's my daily driver, I haven't really posted many videos of this car just because um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet and I kind of want to get my 240 working. So, you know, there might not be too many videos of me working on this one, but eventually I'll, just, I'll start putting more up there for you guys. Um, so make sure that you subscribe so you can follow um, pretty much my daily life here with my cars. And I hope that I was able to help someone uh, do their oil change. And if you have a GT500, I hope you watch this as well. So I'll catch you guys later. All right.